Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. So as we had discussed earlier, the subject value education is divided into four modules. Of these modules, the second module is dealing with NCC, National Cadet Corps. The major points discussing in these modules are the history of NCC, the functions and duties, committees, aims, motto, flag, song and organizational structure of NCC. And we will also discuss about various camps like RDC, CATC, NIC, Army Attachment Camps, Hiking and Trekking Camps, Tal Sainik Camp, Vayu Sainik Camp and Navy Sainik Camps. So dear students, when we discuss about the National Cadet Corps ANCC, the National Cadet Corps is a young wing of armed forces with its headquarters at New Delhi, India and it comes under the Ministry of Defense of Government of India. The NCC is open to schools and college students on a voluntary basis. NCC is a tri-service organization comprising of Army, Navy and Air Wing engaged in grooming the youth of the country into disciplined and patriotic citizens. The NCC in India is a voluntary organization which recruits cadets from high schools, higher secondary, colleges and universities all over India. The cadets are given basic military training in small arms and parades. The officers and the cadets have no liability for active military service once they had completed their course. The NCC aims to develop character, comradeship discipline, a secular outlook, the spirit of adventure and ideals of selfless service among the young citizens. Further, it aims at creating a pool of organized, trained and motivated youth with the leadership qualities in all walks of life who will serve the nation regardless of which career they choose. So when we come to the history of National Cadet Corps, the NCC is the largest uniformed youth organization. The NCC in India was formed under the National Cadet Corps Act of 1948. It can be traced back to the University Corps, which was created under Indian Defense Act of 1917, with the objective to make up for the shortage in the army. In 1920, when the Indian Territorial Act was passed, the University Corps was replaced by the University Training Corps UTC. The aim was to raise the status of UTC and make it more attractive to the youth. The UTC officers and cadets dressed like the army. It was a significant step towards the Indianization of the armed forces. It was recherished as UOTC, so the National Cadet Corps can be considered as a successor of the UOTC that is University Officers Training Corps which was established by the British government in 1942. During the World War II, the UOTC never came up to the expectation set by the British. This led to the idea that some better scheme should be formed which could train more young men in better way even during peace. A committee headed by H.N. Kunsru recommended a cadet organization to be established in schools and colleges at national level. The NCC Act was accepted by the Governor General and it was on 15th July 1948 the NCC Corps came into existence because the Governor General C. Rajagopal Ajari accepted the NCC Act on that particular year. In 1948, the girls' division was erased in order to give equal opportunity to school and college-going girls. The NCC was given an inter-service image in 1950 when the Air Wing was added, followed by the Naval Wing in 1952. In the same year, the NCC curriculum was extended to include community development or social service activities as part of the NCC syllabus at the behest of late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru who took keen interest in the growth of NCC. Following the 1962 Zeno indian War, that is Indochina War of 1962, to meet the requirement of the nation, the NCC training was made compulsory in the year of 1963. In 1968, the corps was again made in a voluntary basis. 
During the Indo-Pakistan War of 1965 and Bangladesh-Pakistan War of 1971, the NCC cadets were the second line of defense. They organized the camp to assist ordnance factories, supplying arms and ammunition to the front and also were used as patrol parties to capture enemy paratroopers. The NCC cadets also worked hand in hand with the civil defense authorities and actively took part in the rescue works and traffic control. After the 1965 and 1971 wars, the NCC syllabus was revised. Rather than just being a second line of defense, the revised NCC syllabus laid greater stress on developing qualities of leadership and officer like qualities the military training which the ncc cadet received was reduced and greater importance was given to social service and youth management so these are the major histories of the ncc so when we come to the history of ncc some of the years or some of the timelines are 1917 the indian defense act of 1917 was introduced and the university corps was formed according to the Indian Defense Act of 1917. Another timeline is 1920. In 1920, the Indian Territorial Act was passed and the University Corps was replaced by University Training Corps UTC. The year 1942 is an another timeline. In 1942, the British government introduced University Officers Training Corps which replaced UTC. Next is 15th July 1948. The National Cadet Corps Act was accepted by the Governor General C. Rajakobal Ajari on 15th August 1948 and the NCC came into existence in 15th August 1948. So the year 1948 is an important timeline in the history of NCC. The NCC was introduced in 1948. The NCC Army Wing was introduced in 1948. Also, NCC Girls Division was also introduced in 1948. The year 1950 is also important. The Air Wing of NCC was introduced in 1950. And the Naval Wing of NCC was introduced in 1952. In the year of 1963, the NCC training was made compulsory on the lights of Indochina War of 1962. And in the year of 1968, the COP was again made voluntary. So these are the major timeline of the history of National Cadet Corps. So my dear students, this is just an introduction to the NCC, which is the largest uniformed youth organization in the world. And the NCC is the youth wing of the armed forces with its headquarters at New Delhi, India, which comes under the Ministry of Defense Government of India. So, my dear students, kindly go through these assignment questions. The questions are, write detailed notes on history of National Cadet Corps. And second question is, in the light of the NCC, what are the importance of the following timeline years? So the years are 1917, 1920, 1942, 15th July 1948, the year 1948, 1950, 1952, and the years 1963 and 1968. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the motto of NCC, the NCC flag, and what are the strength of unit in NCC. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.